What's up, guys? Leveling Podcast. Uh, we're going to do a quick vid today. Uh, no, I'm not going to unbox ID cars. Uh, they're just the backdrop. Um, I don't open the ID cars, so. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do these guys. Uh, I got picked these up today. Um, I got a friend who buys cases. Um, so, if you guys watched my haul video yesterday, I could have got these locally from a local vendor. No, I'm not a vendor. Local die cast shop. Um, but, you know, here's the models on the back. Now, you guys all know these are one per case. Equal amounts. There's nothing different about the, any of them. Um, these three is one price. And then for some reason at the store, this one's like $3 more. Uh, just because they feel like BMW is going to be more, more popular. So you know what? I just went and bought a case. So I'll get my stuff elsewhere. So we're going to unbox these. Unbox these. We're going to do this guy too. We're going to do my favorite one because Mopar all day, every day. And the new casting, Speedways. Yes, pun intended, Speedways. All right, we're going to do these in order of their number. So we got 29, 30, 31, and 32. So we're going to do number 29 first. Tear that guy out. There we go. Slide him out. Put the truck up there. The truck rotate just for one second. Just so you can see what it's like without the model on it. For those of which, you know, for those people that don't open the packages, you will never ever see this. I mean, realistically, you'll never see this. Now, the only thing, you know, that kind of bothers me about some of these is that they don't do anything. Um, this one obviously does. Um, so, ooh, this one popped right off. There we go. So this one rolls back. It's totally going to hit the boxes. Um, but this is the only one that actually does something. All right, guys, I had to go. I was going to go grab this guy. Because uh, I thought there was something different about this. But I was mistaken. So I apologize. So we're going to throw the Beamer up on there. Now you guys know. When I do Hot Wheels stuff. I do a little bit different. So everybody's you know kind of done these unboxings enough. So try to do something a little different here. Just bring you up to the speed on this E46. Obviously number 46. Ibach. There's the Deets. We all love the Deets. It's pretty sweet. Uh, and then there's the back. It's got like that sticker bomb going on on the bumper. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Fits both ways. All right. We're going to do number 30, which is this guy. Bring him in his clamshell. Throw the hauler up there. Like I said, those guys that don't open these, you're never going to see this. You're never going to enjoy this. So crack it open. Just crack everything open. Hashtag crack shit open. Just saying. I love this hauler. Obviously, it's a, it's a throwback to the snake and mongoose hauler, obviously. Um, that's kind of why they always seem to, for the most part, they always pair something Mopar related on it. This is your Hellcat, although they can't call it a Hellcat on the package because, you know, it's still considered a kid's toy. So it's just the SRT. It's pretty cool. Deets on the bottom. I really like this deco. There's the top. Oh yeah, I guys forgot, forgot to show you guys. There you go. It's the top of the E46. I'm going to throw this guy on here just so you can see. Fits like a gym. Pretty 
Forgot to show the other hauler too. The Hot Wheels race team. Now this is not exactly their race team style of deco. I wish it was. Because, uh, you know, I'm working on building a big display for that. Because I think it'd look cool. So this one's not, not quite there. But close enough. Hot Wheels racing on the plate. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're going to jump into number 31. We're just moving right along. Like I said, this needs to be a quick vid. We need to just roll through these. Plastic. Uh, this is a newer casting, this this hauler. I love how big the haul back is. It's, it's really nice. It holds, can probably hold anything, any Hot Wheels vehicle. It's pretty nice. I like the kind of slope front the cab has. It's it's different. It's different. Um, this is obviously in Hoonigan Deco, which is pretty cool. Comes with the Baja Bug, which is so freaking cool it's one of the best castings one of the pre best premium castings they have got all that awesome cage work on the motor on the back you got deco in the window such a good casting man and these off-road wheels are so fitting and some good stuff looks really really good there are the deets Throw this guy in here. Now, the one thing I like about this is it's got like triple wheel slots, so they can literally hold anything back here. But you know, Baja Bug, so he doesn't need it all. Just need some of it. It's pretty cool. It says uh, Hoonigan on it. Oop, sorry guys. Put your Hoonigan on there. Kimmy. It's always like trying to find the sweet spot. There we go. I think it's like you got to find the right amount of light reflection too. Front deco on it. This is a pretty beefy casting. A lot of metal in it. Its actual name is Horizon Hauler. Pretty cool. No rear deco because there's no... I guess there is sort of light detail in there. Come on. This is not going to have it. It's not going to have it. It just doesn't like it. All right, moving along. This is the new casting. Speedways, 100% pun intended. Ooh, brutal. This comes with the 32 Ford. Ooh. All right, let's throw this on there. It looks pretty nice without a car on it. I think it looks better without the car on it. Because I, I honestly don't think that this kind of really fits that style. And just in my opinion, I don't think this 32 Ford fits that. Um, but I do know, understand why they're paired together, obviously. So it comes with this 32 Ford. Got your Moon Eyes on there. El Segundo Special is what it's called. Love these wheels. These real riders are absolutely fantastic. You got Painted Grill. Engine is still plastic, but it is all nice up in chrome. Looks very, very good. Deets on the side. Got some nice pinstriping right there on the back. A little bit of a simulated rust on the little quarter panel right there. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Here you go, 32 Ford. It's pretty cool, man. This is a pretty good casting. But this... It's really what people are going to be stoked about. This is the new Speedways. It's really nice from the front. There we go. Got some nice detail on the top there with the lights. Uh, this whole back thing is metal. Obviously the cab's metal. Um, this insert piece is also metal. And then the base is plastic, so not bad. There's the details. Not a huge fan of these giant fenders for the rear, but I understand what they're going for. You know, there's a spot for a plate right there. No plate detail, but there's a spot for a plate. And then here's the top. It's only got two wheel slots and uh, no sides on it, so... 
It's got some really nice detail in the actual casting. There's the up close. El Segundo special. Uh, I don't know if that's just coincidence that the door handle looks exactly like a uh, Hot Wheels logo, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. You tell me. You tell me. Is that on purpose or is that on purpose? All right. Now we're going to throw it on there so this guy can use whichever slot. Looks better in that slot, though. So we're going to throw these up there real fast because, you know, we want to see how much weight these will hold. Like I said, TSM says these hold six pounds. So someday I'll put six pounds on here. I'm not sure how, but it's going to happen. I'm just going to slide this guy right. There you go. All right, guys. That is Team Transport. I don't know what I don't know what mix this is, but I do know it's the L case. Oh, man. I'll get it figured out for the name. I'll go get the case and I'll, it'll be named right. All right, guys. Level M diecast. Rolling out. Hot Wheels. You know. Peace.